The Kentucky Horse Racing Commission says it will increase staff to regulate sports betting when it launches this year. But some questions, you know, some question that is whether it's doing enough to actually regulate the betting activity that already exists in Kentucky. I team reporter Dan Monk takes a closer look at those concerns in part two of his investigation of Kentucky's biggest gambling regulator. I'm a little disturbed. Chuck Grubbs spoke up in April as a veteran member of the Wagering Integrity Committee, part of the Kentucky Horse Racing Commission. This is our first meeting in six years. Yes, sir. What? Why is that? Chairman Michael Dudgeon promised the committee will be more active in the months ahead. And we'll take up those matters that, uh, that are important to the betting public. The committee met to approve plans for a statewide exclusion list so compulsive gamblers can ban themselves from betting. Gambling critics are happy the list is being developed, but they're worried that each track will be able to develop its own exclusion policy, and they wonder how it will be enforced. I think we need to have a much more robust discussion about what uh, what that kind of program would look like and, and how it should be funded. David Walls of the Family Foundation said a bill that legalized sports betting is too vague to be useful. The language um, that was, was put in to, to set up an, an initial fund to, to try to address problem gaming actually has very broad language about how it can be used um, to help with any addiction. Ohio has the same problem, according to Mike Bazelli with the Problem Gambling Network of Ohio. Because those monies were earmarked for problem gambling or other addictions, a vast majority of those problem gambling funds went to opioid prevention. State Senator Chris McDaniel doesn't think that will happen in Kentucky. Some members with very strong feelings about making sure that the problem gaming was addressed financially there. So, um, you know, we'll see how that advances, but uh, I, I certainly expect that uh, there'll be a good bit of money head that way. Dan Monk, WCPO 9 IT.